Welcome to our next video here from Howard Piano Industries. What we're going to be showing you today in this video is um, all the different parts of a vertical piano action. What you see in front of you here is a vertical piano action model. Uh, obviously it's not the whole um, action, but it's just a, a representation of um, all the different parts from one uh, from the act, one keys or one notes action um, parts. And so you'll see this particular thing 88 times in a vertical piano. Now there might be some variances as you go from one piano to the next uh, depending on the height of the piano and style and everything but the parts are gonna are gonna pretty much be the same um, on most of uh, most uh, vertical pianos. Spinet pianos are gonna be a little bit different and I'll show you in this through the video how those will um, <clears throat> uh, be a little bit different. Uh, we'll start over here obviously this is the key uh, the part that you press down to make the note play um, so we've got here the key top. And, um, this right here is the um, is the key front right here. Um, if we lift it up, you can see there's a pin under here that the that the key rests on. If I take the key off, you can see there's a hole underneath um, underneath there that sits on that key pin. And there's another hole here in the middle of the key. And that sits on what's called the balance rail pin. Okay, so they've got, we've got the front rail pin and the balance rail pin, um, and each of those has a felt punching. This one has a, a thin, uh, this is red, but a lot of times they're white. Um, here on the uh, front rail pin, there's going to be green, could be another color, but most of the time they're green felt punchings. And then underneath there, are oftentimes paper or cardboard punchings underneath the felt punchings. There aren't on this um, action model, but um, uh, oftentimes you will find those. So, as we put things back together here. Um, okay, so this would be the, considered the front rail. This is the balance rail. Okay, so obviously the balance rail pin goes into the balance rail. The front rail pin goes into the front rail. Um, and then we go to the back of the key. We've got this piece right here, which is called the capstan. Sometimes they're little short ones. Um, they're maybe brass, uh, they, but some of them have a wood dowel here like this one. Um, but uh, that's called the capstan. This whole piece right here uh, with the jack, and the, you know, we'll go through the parts. But th this whole thing right here is called the whippin. Okay, so, so this piece right here, that's all connected, one piece, it's all connected back here by this screw. So if you ever had to take the whipping off, you have to take the action out, and then from the back of the action, you take this, uh, this uh, screw out. Okay, so the different parts of the, um, of the whipping are here. This would be called the whipping heel. Um, so there, there's um, uh, action cloth underneath there. Uh, this, so oh, uh, before I get to that, is um, this is where your back rail cloth is. Okay, so that's your back rail. So the three rails are back rail, balance rail, and front rail. Okay, getting back to the um, the whip in here. This piece right here is the jack flange. Okay, so and then this is the jack right here. Um, this right here is the jack spring. Okay, so those three pieces kind of go together. Jack flange, jack, and jack spring. Um, this piece right here is called the back check. And this is the back check wire. This wire right here, or um, rod, is um, the uh, bridle wire. Okay, and then attached to that is the bridle strap. Okay, so this going from the um, from this piece up here down to the bridle wire is the bridle strap. Uh, this is a regulating button, and um, you'll you'll see as you learn it about regulating what uh, what that's for. Um, of course, you got a regulating screw up here at the top of the regulating button that goes through the rail, so that's all attached together there. Um, let's see, going over here. Uh, oh, so back here on, as part of the whipping is the um, the whipping flange. Okay, so that that flange, as you can see, it uh, it pivots on that flange, and then the very back of the whipping <clears throat> is the uh, is the spoon, the damper spoon. Okay. And um, so that's the damper spoon. Uh, this this piece right here is the damper lever. Okay, this is the damper lever flange. Um, this is the damper wire, I guess you can call that, and then the damper head. Okay, and then of course these are the damper felts. Okay, so all that is is the damper assembly. Okay, you've got the damper spoon, damper flange, um, damper head, and damper felt. 
And then, of course, here is your damper spring. Okay, I don't know if you can see that in the video, but there's a spring there that that pushes on the damper on the damper um, so that there's some tension to push the damper back against the wire. <clears throat> okay, and then going on here to the um, the hammer assembly. Here we've got uh, the hammer butt. Okay, which is kind of the the main thing there. This is the hammer butt flange. Okay, and then there's a screw that holds that to that rail. So that's the hammer butt flange, hammer butt. Um, this is the catcher, uh, and then the catcher shank, and that's what the uh, bridle strap gets attached to. If you get the clip-on bridle straps, that just clips to this to this catcher shank right here. Okay, and then of course this is the hammer shank right here. This this um, rod here that goes from the hammer butt, and of course this is the hammer. <clears throat> So that's the piano hammer, and then in this, in this model, this right here would be representing the string. So obviously it's a thick rod there, but um, in the model it's, it's representing. So as you can see, the hammer goes forward, hits the string, and the string would vibrate and, and cause the, the sound. We'll have another video that, uh, that goes through the details of how the piano action works and all, how, all these, how all these parts move and, and what happens when you actually press down a key. So we'll try to get that um, made quickly here if, it, if it's not already up for you. So those are the different parts. Um, you know, just to, one other thing um, here, we've got um, this is the hammer rail. Um, so there, there's hammer rail cloth here. Um, this right here would be... Oh, I'm sorry, I missed one part here. This is the hammer butt spring. Okay, so that's the hammer butt spring. There's different styles of that depending on what kind of action you have, but um, that's uh, there's a spring always to um, to push. Sometimes the, ham the spring is actually pushing on the hammer butt rather than the, the spring coming down and attaching to the cord there. <coughs> But um, basically, those are all the different parts of um, a piano action. Uh, feel free to check out our other videos on piano tuning and repair. Um, but otherwise, our, our website is howardpianoindustries.com.